Assalamualaikum and selamat sejahtera. In this video, we will discuss how to vary the RMS value of AC voltage using power electronic converters. In the AC power system, there are many applications require a lower AC voltage than the grid supply voltage. However, some applications require variable RMS values for their operation. Hence, a tap-changing transformer can be used to step down the input voltage to multiple RMS values. Nonetheless, a proper control system is needed to regulate the changing of the tap changer safely. Other than that, the transformers may increase the size of the application system. Fortunately, we can step down the input voltage to different RMS values using a power electronic converter. This converter is known as an AC voltage controller. In this video, we will focus on the application and the operation of a single phase AC voltage controller only. Based on the circuit diagram, the AC voltage controller is constructed using two thyristors connected in inverse parallel connection. Other than thyristors, you can use other controllable power switches such as VJTs, IGBTs, or MOSFETs. The converter can be controlled using two control methods, namely as the phase control and integral cycle control technique. As a result, the firing angle of the power switches can be changed to reduce the RMS value of the output voltage. Other than regulating the RMS value, some application may require lower frequency to operate. Thus, we can use a cycloconverter to regulate the frequency of the AC voltage waveform. The converter consists of two full bridge rectifiers connected in inverse parallel connection. In general, the AC voltage controller and cycloconverter belongs to AC to AC converter family. Next, let's look at some applications of AC voltage controllers. First, we can use the AC voltage controllers to perform the illumination control for AC lighting systems. Second, the converter can be utilized in controlling the speed of AC motors. Third, we can use the AC voltage controllers to change the tap changer of transformers. And lastly, the converter can be used to control the heat or temperature of heating system such as the industrial furnace. Now, we will discuss the operation of the AC voltage controller using the phase control technique. By using this technique, the firing angle of both thyristors is regulated so that the AC source is connected and disconnected to the load for every positive and negative half cycles of the AC supply voltage waveform. For your information, thyristor S1 only operates during the positive half cycle. Hence, the range of firing angles for S1 is in between 0 to 180 degrees. Instead, thyristor S2 only operates during the negative half cycle. Thus, the range of firing angles 
for S2 is in between 180 degrees to 360 degrees. The control pulses for both thyristors can be sketched as follows. Please take note that the phase difference between both control pulses is pi or 180 degrees. As shown in the graph, both thyristors are turned off before the injection of the control pulses. As a result, the AC source is disconnected from the load for two times. 